I'm going to make uh, one of these salt jars, well a few salt jars today, uh, they're like a, a pot with a, a spout on the top, I haven't got any left to show you actually but so I could have uh, showed you. And they're made in two parts, first of all you make a pot, close it in and then you throw a little rim, a spout and stick it on then you put the, well, you put the hole out, so anyway I'll show you. Quite tricky to make these because it's a closed in pot so you want really well wedged clay or really well pumped clay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to throw a simple tube. Slightly, this will be the basic shape. Just open it up a touch. I don't want to open it up too much because when I close it in, it'll actually splay out a bit wider. So I think that's about right. Let's get all the water out before I close it in, otherwise, once you've closed it in, it's stuck. So. Now to close it in, I'm just going to sort of collar it in gradually. a bit wobbly at the top but you can, you can cut that bit off after with a, a needle. So I'll just keep closing it up. It's got a knob on the top as well so I've got enough clay there so I'll just nip that bit off there. I'll make the knob on the top. the right size, you can gauge it as you're throwing it, I'll just do it by eye, I've not measured it or anything but I'll get a buff idea. Right, the thing with this is, you've got to go right through to the back at the bottom and just widen it out like so, I'm just trying to judge the size, so you can see I'm right through to the back so it's just like a hole in the clay there. mouthpiece like so. It's quite chunky. Like I say, I'm just guessing this now. But it looks about the right size. I'll, just, I'll try and show you if it's the right size next. So that's the mouthpiece, if you will. And the idea is you, cut, you stick that on there like so and then you've got a hole and you put the mouthpiece in and then you put your salt in anyway when it's all dry tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll show you that part Hi, well it's uh, the day after now and I've, as you can see I've just trimmed this pot up a bit and I've trimmed that up and cut it off so now it's just a matter of sticking the old um, mouthpiece on the pot so what you do first is just put some slip on the back of this mouth mouthpiece thing. And then before you cut the hole, just place this on where you want it to go. And push it on. 
so then the slip leaves a mark where the hole should be. So you look at that, that leaves a mark, you see. So then what you do is with a needle, I find a needle's better than a knife, you just simply cut out where the slip left the mark and that should put your hole exactly in the right place. So that's the hole cut out. It doesn't matter if it's a bit rough because you're going to cover it up anyway. So now it's just a matter of putting this back on. The slip on the back still. You've no need to score or anything like that. Score the pot. So just push that on. Like so. Now what I like to do is, is to use my thumb to attach it even better and it adds a bit of a design feature. Just squash it down onto the pot. And that bonds it really securely. And then there's a few little rough bits in between in the middle where it's joined. So if you just wet your finger and just go around the inside just to smooth off any marks and get a sponge to just finish it off. And that's what you get, your little salt pot, like so.